So now we can kind of check the alternator. Um, Dylan's turning it at a fairly constant speed and I'll just look at voltage across the phases. Um, I'm measuring AC voltage. So at this speed, he's at about 60 RPM roughly. Um, got about 30 volts AC there. Across here. About 30 volts AC. And I would expect to have the same here, but I can't reach it. One dramatic thing you'll see with the axial flux alternator is if I was to short it out, even just short one phase, um, see how dramatically it stops. And this is how we stop the wind turbine in a high wind. So even though it's almost 20 years old and these magnets with the loose bearing have really dug into the stator, especially down here, you can see exposed copper. Um, it's fine. That copper's not going anywhere. We could cover it with epoxy or something, but I'm not too worried about it. It's been that way for years. Um, <clears throat> we've tightened the bearing. We used this gauge, a bent piece of copper wire, visualizing the gap and jacking screws to get the rotor running true. And once we got it true, we raised these nuts underneath all around to hold the front magnet rotor where it is. And the next step is we're going to run. I didn't used to do this, but it's smart. Um, run thin super glue down here. It'll run through the threads and lock these nuts into place um, and then tighten these down good. And hopefully, hopefully it'll stay put for a while. Once that's done, we'll check the line for shorts. If it's questionable, we'll, we'll run a, a new line down the tower. And, um, and we can put the machine back together and hopefully fly it.